action figure aficionado here. Uh, just doing a little unboxing here of something that I'm pretty excited for. It's not really an action figure, but a, a collectible. I've never really uh, gone into statues or anything like this, but Sideshow finally convinced me with the release of their Mumra. Uh, now I am contemplating going back and looking at other releases, such as Skeletor, maybe a Villains Collection. I seem to like those over the heroes and quite frankly I'm not a millionaire so I can't quite afford all of them. Wow well this thing is pretty weighty and that shipping crate left no room for uh, forgive uh, in their actual design box design here. The Mumra evil emblem on the front of it. Thundercat logo. So it's got this little use caution right in there. I'm going to assume, assume that I should pull the styrofoam out with that reading from the top. So securely placed in the bottom of the container is his base by the looks of it. The weight of this box went down drastically with the removal of that base, I, that thing is really what weighted it down. So the statue itself isn't uh, going to be, of the character, isn't going to be as much, I figure. Since this is just an unboxing, I'm going to really kind of just reveal. It is awesome. I'll go over assembly, I'll do a actual uh, review on them. Go over. I have them fully assembled here. And I will start by going with, this is the previews, uh, not previews, uh, this is just the Sideshow exclusive version that comes with the Sword of Plundar. So, you have alternate hand that would go here, versus the one, of course, I'm going to want to display the sword. Okay, just going to give you some, try to get some uh, up-close detailing of Mumra himself here. Now, the Warthog. And the bull were packaged individually and insert in with the same snap together system that Sideshow used on the rest of the statue, which is uh, magnetized ends in there, which caught me off guard. I did not know that's how they did that. The bottom of the statue has his nameplate and logo design. Give you a kind of a bird's eye view of the sword of plunder itself. Now, the sword snaps together. It is the top portion here is held in the hand, but there is a peg right in there where the bottom portion snaps in. Now, I usually wear gloves, but this is going to be minimalistic touching, and my hands were just washed, so my oil should be fairly clean. This hand snaps in. It 
and it pulls the magnets pull tight just to give you an idea on that this is uh, solid <clears throat> in the sculpt this cloth thing here I haven't really played around with yet but it's got a wire frame to try and get you a more I don't know, dynamic pose if you want, anything like that, uh, which the edge of the cape is lined with wire, so you can kind of get it in there and position it as you see fit, which I already did here. I kind of got it into a manner that I liked with this edge here and this edge. The rest just kind of falls into place down there. These all as well. are individually wired so okay he snaps in or places in with a peg in this foot right in there that's as good as uh, I could get this one in uh, that one just rests in place the body is pretty self-explanatory then you got the hands which I showed and the head. Now this is definitely a reimagining, more hyper detailed design, a la the 2000 X uh, He-Man line, and it's becoming more common to take some of those um, generic designs from original source material and amp them up a bit. It's been that way for a while. Some people still just prefer the source. I really like good detail and good designs. I love this statue. Sorry, a little shaky here. I'm not on the tripod or anything. Uh, just because of the mass of this, I'm not really equipped to do something the the scale and a, a really good review. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that these were packaged individually, the two that I mentioned earlier, just because they uh, have points of interest that would be easier in breaking than others. Then he's got basically his base is designed as the cauldron with his ancient spirits of evil that grant him his ever-living uh, powers lining it uh, really really elegant design big throwback to the original show which to me has still got some of the best animation of the 80s and well ever really there's just so much especially the effects animation those they knew what they were doing I had to use two hands to shift him a bit just to give you a better view of the cloth cape which has kind of been sp spattered splattered aged look to it particularly at the bottom uh, they put these uh oh, here let me uh, go in at my normal angle here just giving you a view of the cape Now, I, I went through and I kind of separated all these and kind of just gave them some flair like they were just flapping around. I might want to play with them a little bit more. Maybe I could down, down them a little bit at that point. I just you know, Whatever design you really want to go with, pull it off. Now, like I said, uh, this is my first statue, but yeah, for nearly $500 with shipping and stuff, probably just a little over. It's got a lot of dust in uh, from styrofoam and packing, so I'm going to gently swiffer him, which is usually how I dust 
items that I have out on display. So you can even see some residues in there. I mean, this is a new piece, so. Going back to what I was saying though, for $500, it is really cool. It is spacious. So, I mean, he is uh, a tall guy here. And statue collectors and all that will know. So, he had the tail. He's got to be standing about 20 inches from the tip of the sword. I didn't measure. Just taking an estimated guess here. From the bottom of the base. I know Sideshow said in their in their release and all that, but I, I haven't read that in 10 months. So I can't remember how tall he was designed to be. But I know he's still available, like most of their statues. Very elegant. I love the detailing in particular. Let's see if I can get this so it's not washed out on the camera. The wrapping... That covers his body has so much detail in it just trying to see if I can capture that all individually linked Well, I'm going to call it quits on the just kind of giving you a look at the Sideshow Mumra from the classic Thundercats. And I'm Spoon, your action figure aficionado, keeping it mint.